So I think these chickens are getting a little used to our routine of coming out and letting them free range for a little while. But today, I'm not staying out for long. We got storms coming. So I just came out to check on the chickens this afternoon. I brought my little helper with me, but she fell asleep on the way out. So I'm gonna leave her in the car to rest. So that's why the car sound is in the background. Now, Chris said <laughs> he thinks these are snake eggs. So I'm like, great, my worst fear. Uh, and I have, oh look, I have a little ladybug here eating some bugs off of the cucumber plant. It's got some damage. I'm just out here looking for pests. I didn't come out this morning because I just needed a little bit of a break. It did look like we get a, got a heavy shower here not too long ago. But I just came out to check for any issues that I could correct now before this next set of storms roll through. Yeah, I'm staring clear of that little area. Let's get in the garden, y'all, and see what's going on here. Now, last night, this is some of my free range and damage on my birds here, but uh, these pole beans that I planted are growing pretty nicely here. Again, ignore this mess back here. Lemongrass. Seems like this corn just is growing an inch or so every day now. And it might be, especially on that side. We had this same, we planted the corn in the same spot last year, except it wasn't contained in a bed. It was just like an open patch. And we actually planted it two months later than we did this year. So we were just now getting planted with our corn this time last year. And I'm afraid that it just burnt out. But it looks like it's growing in the same kind of pattern. This side just seems to be the better spot for corn. I think next year Chris is going to try to do the corn over there. We're going to amend this clay soil and get it prepped for corn over the, over the winter. Everything's looking okay over here. Mainly just looking for Japanese beetles and June, ooh, and June bugs. Look up here. They could wipe out a plant in a whole day. Yeah. He's gotta go, or she. Here's another one. I gotta get some kind of trap for them. Look what I just found here. Found some eggs on the back of one of the pumpkin leaves. I don't think they're ladybug eggs. I need to do some checking. Let me see what they are. Okay, I'm waiting on a cell signal to come up so I can check to see what those eggs were, but I can't forget to check on that because I'll get angry if I get angry with myself if I do. I'm just looking around here. Oh, look at here. They are just everywhere. They're at the house real bad, too. These are the Japanese beetles. Look how beautiful these okra plants are getting. They are just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. These peppers are looking great, sort of. Sorry, picking on you. You're not looking all that great, but the rest of you guys are looking great. Some of my tomato plants are getting um, sick. So I did some heavy trimming last night on them and I see a couple more limbs that I'm gonna have to get probably in the morning um, unfortunately it looks like a lot of my tomato plants are getting a little sick they're a little wilty looking today because of the heat that we've had but um, 
I mean, I'm not going to pull them. I'm not going to pull them out at this point, at this stage in the um, growing season. A, I don't want to restart on tomato plants, but B, um, uh, I just want them to keep going and let me see what's going on. Not all of them are unhealthy. There's a handful that look pretty bad. One of them being the one that I said I wanted to keep my eye on last week. And I pulled quite a bit of limbs off. I didn't clean them up last night. I just, the kids started getting a little tired, so we had to leave. But I will be keeping a close eye on these every day and making sure that um, they stay as healthy as I can possibly keep them. Potato plant still looking healthy. I do need to pull this, this potato plant back back here because it's, the tomato plants growing towards it and I just want to keep them separated especially if um, there may be some disease issues going on. That one I'll pick in the morning. Okay, so my Google Lens ping just came up. That's I have a, a Google Pixel and it has Google Lens. I could take a picture of something and search the internet to find out what it is. And it has said that this is a squash vine borer eggs. So I need to eliminate these today. They are gonna be gone here soon. I need to squish them. Then I need to check all of my plants in this area because if there's one set, there's more than likely more. And um, they do, lay their eggs uh, on squash, and that's what I have here, this pumpkin. So, um, yeah, definitely need to eliminate those, and I need to be doing more checking on the underside of my plants now. Is that a caterpillar? What is that? Yep. Now look at this caterpillar I just found. eating my sunflower leaf. Well, I'm about to go to the chickens. They are literally everywhere, y'all. Do your due diligence in the garden. Okay, I'll go get my gloves in a minute and eliminate those eggs that I found. And I have way too many leaves and limbs in my garden to check every single thing. But here is a good, um, just a good uh, example or idea or something to think about doing, which is what I do. I give my entire garden a glance over and then I go down the list either by bed. I check an entire bed or two beds out or whatever I have time for. I'll check the entire bed or I'll just check all the tomato plants or all of the bad guy. So I have four or five bees over here pollinating the tomatillas. They are just busy over here and I killed two Japanese beetles too. They are just getting it. Go bees. Do your thing. So I don't really know how many Japanese beetles that is that I've just found, not even by looking that hard. Um, Cucamelons, oh my gosh, look at this little guy. Look at him. Y'all, last night they were still so tiny. So cute. Look at it. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Now watch me try one of these and I hate them. Other people will like them though. And that's all that matters. Anyway, like I was saying, um, you know, I've just randomly been strolling through, picking off bugs. What I typically do is I swat them off because I don't really like squishing them. Kind of grosses me out a little bit. 
So I will swat them off in a certain direction to make them hit the ground and then I will squish them. I mean, I know it's, it's sad. My five-year-old does not like me killing the bugs. Oh, look at that bumblebee. I haven't seen him before in the garden. He's like white. He's not yellowy at all. Anyway, my five-year-old gets upset with me for dumping out the water and killing the, the mosquito larva. So, um, so, you know, I can't let him see me kill the bugs, but you have, I mean, it's, it's either them or, holy moly, what is all this? Can y'all see that? What is all this? I mean, okay, my artichoke's still looking great. Looks like I've got some more shoots about to get ready to come up, I guess. Like, I don't know. Or is that a new limb? I don't know. This is my first time growing artichoke, so we'll see. Kajari melons over here looking great. My noodle beans perking up. What the heck is this? Oh, this is a Kajari melon. Whoops. He's all over the place. Come on, dude. And crowding the grape. I gotta be careful because I broke the end off of one of the melon plants the other day. I was really upset with myself. <sighs> okay, I'm only halfway through looking for pests here. Again, that was my main focus today. Still see some movement almost that I thought I killed right there, but. Alrighty, this needs to get tied up soon so he doesn't meet the same fate. There's my other tomato plants. I'm just, I just love watching the bees work. It's so fascinating. Okay, I'm looking over here for any immediate signs of beetles. Bumblebees. Putting the flowers on our, our, our llama beans. All right, I'm gonna have to come down this side and just glance through. In the morning, I will definitely be doing a better look. And I have to show this to Chris on this tomato plant right here because it looks like it's not doing so hot. I mean, I don't think it's ready. I don't think we've had enough time growing them. I'll let him handle all the tomatoes. Oh, it's starting to rain. See how long I can hang out here. Tell you what, Miss Ava is going to be upset when she wakes up. Because she's been talking about coming out to the garden all day. Those are those baby boomers. Or baby boom, whatever they're called. I know. No signs of anything yet over here, but I am gonna have to, you know, start checking a little more closely now because it's getting that time of year. And that's the last thing I want is to get some vine borers in here. I have not seen any of the actual adult uh, squash vine borers. I've n I didn't see any last year in the garden. Um, I wasn't as present last summer in the garden as I wanted to be. We had a very busy summer with a bunch of public appearances and conferences and stuff for Semper Canine. And we took a really nice family vacation because it was much needed. So last year I did not... Um, Check, we didn't have as great of a garden last year, but yeah, that is not a ladybug. What are you? 
Well, maybe you are. I don't know. I guess I need to check you out, too. So according to my app, that was what's called a harlequin bug. I've never seen one before. They kind of look like ladybugs, but I noticed it looked a little different and it wasn't displaying ladybug behavior. Also, I took the stakes out of my squash plants. I was unsuccessful at getting them to grow vertically. So, I mean, I may try that again another time. Right now, it is just not something that I want to dedicate more time to because I have a lot of other things to worry about in the garden here. I do have a zucchini to harvest, so I'll grab that one before I leave in a moment. Because a couple of these look like they did not get pollinated. What is y'all doing, bees? Gotta get my plants pollinated, y'all. Anyway, I'll harvest that zucchini and I'll eliminate these pests. But it's starting to rain and Miss Ava may or may not be awake i don't hear her crying in there um but i've got to head out in the morning i was planning on um doing a garden tour so i will film the garden tour tomorrow and share it with y'all we kind of took a break at work today so Chris did not get to finish this space but it looks really nice he did a good job yesterday and he's got a little bit more to to do before we can start putting the high tunnel together. But anyway, um, I'm going to head out. I hope that y'all have a fabulous afternoon and a good evening, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye, y'all.